crocodiles. Nobody knows more about them than Steve Irwin. He's been working with these modern day dinosaurs since he was just a boy. In Australia, we've got the largest crocodile on the face of the earth, the saltwater croc. When Steve's out in the bush, he's at one with them, capturing them, relocating them, and rescuing them. I've enjoyed working with them too, and together we're going to bring you some of the most dangerous and exciting crocodile captures you've ever seen. So stick around because we've put this together especially for you. Come on, Ninja. I catch crocodiles strictly for crocodile conservation. And every single crocodile that I've ever captured has been different. They've all got their personalities. Some hit hard, like a ton of bricks. And some are a little more placid. Boys versus girls. You never know what the temperament of a croc's gonna be like. Here's some of my greatest crocodile captures. On film, that is. My fondest memories are of catching crocodiles. And during the 80s, I was up on my own with my little dog, Suey, capturing some wild crocodiles. And I was lucky enough to have an old video camera that Dad bought for me. I'd stick it in a tree, in the mangroves, on the mud, and I captured some of this vision. Sorry about my camera work, but we're way back in the mid-1980s. It was one of the first video cameras that ever came into Australia. And this is my first effort at it. And here's my dad, right up the front of our crocodile catching dinghy. He's my hero and my legend, and he helps tune my instincts to catch crocs. Sorry, what he's up to here? See up the back there, this is our mechanism, right? That rope he's taken off is connected to the bait, which goes into the back of the trap. That's a pretty old bait. All the way up here. All the way up, 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 up. And into this tree, which is directly on top of me. Right? Now, on that you can see another rope, which comes off and goes down to the mouth of the trap. So, when that bag drops, Right, which is connected to the mechanism, which is connected to the bait. The bag drops and pulls this up. Gotcha. It's first thing in the morning, and this is one of my greatest captures. It's my best mate, Wes, and I've convinced him to check the mechanism. Work or what? We're in far north Queensland. That's my stomping ground. And the capture and relocation of crocodiles we take very seriously. And this is Molly, one of my all-time favourite crocodiles. She is the quietest Sheila I ever captured. And I'm lucky enough to have the skill and wisdom of Dad helping me out once again. Sorry about the odd camera angle, but I just start my camera rolling, stick it on the boat, on the bank, in a tree, wherever I could, and just let it roll. So it might be just one locked off shot, but by crikey, it's history. This is straight out of the archives. Thank goodness I had something to record it on. Once we get a top jaw roped, blindfold on, it's into the boat and back to camp where we can either relocate them back out into the wilderness or the case of Molly here, she had to come back to Australia Zoo where she's flourished. She's still a real quiet Sheila. And here's Goldie. This would be 
one of the best looking crocs I've ever seen. What are you, a little male or a little female? I'm backing a little female. Now watch the way I've locked the camera off. It's sitting on my dinghy. <laughs> Steve was catching crocodiles long before I met him, just with the help of his little dog, Suey. And Suey's just a puppy way back in the 80s. Steve would live in the bush for months on end. No shoes, just living like a wild man. His techniques for crocodile capture have been innovative and always successful. But some of his methods, like this one, look a little bit dangerous. Steve, you've kind of got that crocodile between your legs. There you go, that's better. at Australia Zoo can be a whole new ball game. They're wild caught crocs and they're really ornery, but we've got to move them with our bare hands and sometimes a lasso. The idea is to get them going as quick as possible so that they don't suffer any stress and they can enjoy their new home. Capturing crocs doesn't really matter whether it's a boy or a girl. And one of my favorite female crocodiles is Bindi. By crikey, she's a gnarly little sheila. Imagine if that was a leg. We've got to try and catch her to move her in with Graham. She's just got her teeth just slightly meshed together such that I can't get the loop over properly. And she doesn't understand we're trying to help her. Oh, I've missed man. it. No, I've missed it. Oh, almost. It's difficult getting the lasso over those top teeth and top jaw. Ooh, looking good. She doesn't understand that we're trying to help her. She's fighting for her life. She thinks we mean to hurt her. So what I've got to do is whammo, grab her around the head and use my entire body to pin her down. On goes the blindfold. OK, you tell me where you want me. Um, you want me to let go of the rope? Yeah. Now, pull straddler at the back end there. I'm going to grab up. And get her feet off. On the outside. Okay, I'm just gonna get this other foot. Wait, on. wait, just wait till I get this. That's Once she feels the strength of myself and Terry on her, she settles down, she quietens, and we're able to work. Terry and I don't believe in using drugs and crocodiles. We'll put our bodies on the line before we'd ever do that. She's one of the prettiest crocodiles. She comes from Babinda. Ah. That's why we called her Bindi from Babinda. Just one minute. Okay. Not under it. Right? Okay. Up. Up. Yeah. You can see with the blindfold, rather than use drugs, which run the risk of losing your crocodile, once you blindfold them, they become very, very quiet. 